Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you in this course. So that is preparation of research project and scientific writing. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed lockdown and uh, now you are ready after long vacations for learning. I am very sorry that we are not able to uh, conversate by face. But I think uh, the technology is much improved that we can discuss the, the content online. Uh, uh, this is the first lecture and uh, I will only elaborate that what are the objectives of this course, why we uh, have planned this course, what were the reasons and what should be your target when you are in this course? Uh, the goals of this course uh, is just to strengthen the skills of development of research ideas, which is very important. Uh, in the sense that if you are going after this uh, undergraduate to postgraduate courses or degree program, so which are research program. So you will be able to develop a good research idea if you have a good learning from this course. So how the idea is generated, what kind of information you should have in the background when you are going to generate or develop a, a research idea. Uh, so that we will discuss here in this course. And we'll try to make you able to develop your own research idea based on the, the problems and information available uh, in your vicinity. Uh, then the next objective, our goal of this project is to write a proposal to mobilize the resources in agriculture research. And you know that uh, the research is not a cheaper entity. You have to spend a lot of money on that. And uh, this money has to be mobilized. So these resources, our funds have to be mobilized from the funding agencies. So maybe other than universities, if you are going for a master's degree, you have to mobilize the resources from the university. Because when you are in a master's degree program, so you have to conduct the research and you need some funds to conduct the research. So if you have a good idea, Principally, if you have a good idea, so you can only be able to achieve the grant to, to conduct or to execute your research. If you don't have a good idea or good research proposal, you are not, what is research proposal actually? So whatever you have developed the research ideas, you have to convey the people. Uh, of course, these people are mostly the relevant to your field. So you have to communicate to the people that your idea is very good. You have to market your idea. So research proposal is basically the way how you present your idea to be sale out. And without communicating in a proper way, you will not be able because some funding agency on they only require or most of the funding agency they only require written proposals so it means you are not uh, in person so your writing should be so elaborative and comprehensive that you are making the other people the readers understand that what is your great ideas and what will be the benefit of that? And do you have a capability to do, do that? So otherwise, if you have a very good idea <clears throat> and you are able to convince that this research should be done, 
So this is your idea. And you have convinced the funding agency, but you have, don't have a capability. Your team is not as sufficient to conduct that research. So in that case, you will also be paid. So it means the writing should be so, so elaborative and communicative that the people, they understand that what you mean and what are your capabilities. Because you have to present your capabilities as well that you are able to do that. And the third is effective scientific writing. So, so this is the proposal writing and the, in general scientific writing. So you have research papers for journals, you have books, and uh, you have edited book, authored book, and there are different other kinds of uh, scientific publications, which generally we have in our scientific career. So these are the three main goals of this course. <clears throat> if you uh, are, if we go to precise, what are the objectives to provide with knowledge and skills to be able to conceive projects and write them up in a way that will be convinced donors to fund. So goals are generally, so they are broader. And the objectives, they are very concise. So the, you can say that uh, uh, the target is to develop research ideas, to de develop proposals. But when we say objective, so it means that uh, we have to provide the knowledge that how that will be executed, what we have uh, discussed in the previous slides. So we will give you knowledge, skills to write the project in a way to convince the donors. To improve the participants ability to mobilize the resources for agriculture research and to impart necessary knowledge and skills for effective scientific research. So you can say that these are the same goals which have been narrowed down to more precise that what we will do here in this course. So what are the outputs of this course? <clears throat> so when you have uh, uh, completed this course, so what we expect from you, we expect that your knowledge has been improved and your skills in the research project proposal writing named problem identification, scientific solution, and development of scientific uh, ideas and methods to be selected. Then uh, the participants are able to mobilize the resources required for conducting agriculture research projects that how to write is an effective research proposal so that you can mobilize the funds from different ways. And then the participants able to produce high quality research papers, communication and products. So that the, when you are finished with this course, you must be able to produce high quality research papers. Uh, so this does also require your great idea, how you executed that research, how you interpreted it, how you concluded your research, and then how you have written your research. So if you have not written in a uh, effective way, you will not be able to get it published. And if it's not published, so it means you are not able to expand uh, the readership of your research. Nobody will know that what you have done and your research will remain in your lab. So that was all about today's lecture. And I hope uh, you will understand that what we are expecting from this course from you and your target will be the same which have been mentioned in this course. Thank you very much.